Since 1984, tests have been carried out here in the Daimler-Benz driving simulator in Berlin Marienfelder on the driver vehicle environment. However, as a research and development tool, the system differs substantially from training simulators such as those used, for example, in aviation. The task of the Daimler-Benz driving simulator is to adapt the vehicle technology even better to the capabilities and limitations of the human being, so that both vehicles and traffic become even safer. The most important prerequisite for this, the system must reflect reality as precisely as possible. The Daimler-Benz driving simulator has at its disposal the most powerful components anywhere in the world to meet these requirements. The synergetic motion system is driven hydraulically and provides a movement space of over 7 meters crosswise and 3 meters lengthwise. The rotational movements turn through up to 33 degrees. The five-ton dome is moved via six hydraulic legs and since the modernization of the system in 1994, additionally via a highly dynamic transverse cylinder enabling speeds to the side of up to four meters per second. This makes possible 100% representational accuracy of the transverse acceleration over the entire cross-section of the road. This is essential, especially for side wind trials or driving maneuvers with a double change of lane. Thus the driver is provided with real acceleration, braking and centrifugal forces, including those in dangerous situations. The driving dynamics computer DEC Alpha 3900 computes in real time the dynamic behavior of the vehicle being simulated. The driver's cabin has the sole purpose of creating realistic surroundings. The cabin has no axles or engine or drivetrain. The vehicle behavior, as well as the kinematics and elastokinematics of the wheel suspension, the springs, the shock absorbers, and the steering forces are specified by the computer. Even parameters such as friction and steering play are included in the simulation. The driver receives his impression of reality via the image computer, which provides a five-channel 180-degree forward projection and a single-channel 40-degree backward projection on the inside of the projection dome. The image computer computes from these databases the images of the outside view from the driver's perspective, precisely as the driver steers his vehicle through the virtual landscape. This is done in real time with 50 images per second. In addition, light effects such as half-light or night and weather effects such as rain or fog are generated. Obstacles are also possible. Acting together with the driving dynamic system, a sound system completes the impression of perfect reality. The driving dynamics computer transfers the quantities airstream speed, engine speed and load, and the forces of the tires. The dome can accommodate a complete car or truck driver's cabin, whereby the time required to change the driver's environment is less than an hour. All the processes in the dome are monitored and controlled from the control center. The test manager can see the driver on a screen and, if necessary, communicate. The safety systems of the driving simulator are also monitored from the control center. Basically, the research capabilities of the Daimler-Benz driving simulator are aimed at two test objectives, the vehicle and the driver. What is the behavior in critical situations or when a system fails? What is the acceptance level of new vehicle components and what are the effects of medication or alcohol? All this can be studied in the driving simulator, scientifically, consistently, and above all, without any danger. A further application of the driving simulator, studying the amount of stress drivers can be subjected to. The objective of this investigation was to test systems that register drivers' tiredness, and if necessary, to warn them not to fall asleep. On the basis of these test results, a better evaluation can be made of the laws affecting people in cars. As an instrument for developing vehicle components, the driving simulator has already become essential. 
Even before test carriers or prototypes are available, realistic driving trials can be carried out at a very early stage of development with the aim of comparative evaluation of possible vehicle components. Which axle, for example, fares best in a double change of lane, in a slalom or when driving past the side wind tunnel. Dead ends in development can thus be avoided and further development work can be continued on a higher level. With so-called hardware in the loop simulations, real-time systems such as ABS, ASR or ESP can be integrated in the simulation process. In this way, it is possible to study driving behavior in relation to control systems of this type. The development engineers obtain information about the acceptance and the functioning of the systems and can work out and specify objectives for further developments of the systems. The optimization of the vehicle technology in relation to human capabilities will in future be one of the main tasks of development engineers. In order to do this, it must be possible to test the effects of new research parameters and also their combined action. And this has to be done as frequently as required, in quick sequence, in a wide variety of traffic situations and above all absolutely consistently. With its high performance and the flexibility of its applications, the Daimler-Benz driving simulator is an essential instrument for achieving this. Through the data obtained in the simulator, it is possible to build pre-optimized development carriers that, both in research projects and in series produced vehicles, substantially reduce the development risks and the development time.